Welcome! You have to do it on three. Okay. Three. <laughs> Welcome to Morocco! One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to Morocco! Morocco. Yeah, second time to okay in Atlas Mountain in Morocco, 2,600 meters of altitude, and uh, yeah, we will now stay for three weeks. So the reason why we choose here in Morocco is because we got a great facility and it's nice to try something new. And this one is super exotic, super different, and yeah, a great opportunity to see the world. Who's got the coolest bike? I mean, mine is super personal. Is that even a question? I have like the Taiwanese side. Norwegian side, my hometown, Norway imprinted, and I, I basically got so many personal stuff here, it's insane. You might have the cleanest bike, but I guess you can't argue against the classy design of mine. I so think I would choose Eden's. Yes! Eden! 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 I'm always taking the lead, pulling the train around. It's just me, you know? It's just who I am. What's important to keep in mind is that I don't have the talent as Gustav have. I need to work harder in order to be competitive with him in the races. So he has that talent where he can just float and be like 90-95% during the winter. I can't. I can't! I need to be 100%. Every day. Every week. Every month. Keep that in mind. He doesn't feel altitude. I think it's more altitude training to just be behind him on a bike because it just sucks all the oxygen and life out of the air in front of me. The three lungs doesn't come by itself. Hard work from a young age. Changing the DNA, you know, by training stimuli. It's optional. It's optional to work hard. It's optional, but I definitely recommend you to do so. Now the pressure is on, now I need to have less than 0.77 in order to show that uh, I utilized my rest day yesterday. I think Eden is too much around on this rest day. I only did some hamam. It's very nice. Okay, so if it's less than 0 0.7, he's wrong. If it's higher than 1.1, he's right. Make sense? No, really. Perfect. Just as I wanted it. How much was it? <laughs> one one point zero. Which is okay, you know? It's where it's supposed to be because I'm 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 still fueled. I have like the carbohydrates in my body that I need. Most likely he doesn't. I have been uh, getting it on. Then we are like one point flat is okay. It depends on where you're starting from. But like my So energy is high, you know? You know he's twisting his word. Before he said he had to have under 0 0.7. And now, when he had higher, he's like, oh, it just shows that I'm fully loaded with carbohydrates. It's funny how that works. Singapore translates as the Lion City. And that is about right today, with some of triathlon's biggest cats hungry, prowling, and determined to finish as king of the prime. So to win a PTO race is something I felt I've been <laughs> striving for for basically three years now. I failed to make it to Startland in Daytona in 2020. I came second behind Gustav in Edmonton. 
Second again in Ibiza, third in US Open with another round of cramping and then yes, I felt like I had one more shot before Paris to take a PTO win and to be able to do it in Singapore the way I did it. Yeah, it was obviously a massive relief, uh, not just to win the race on the day but also sort of securing the PTO ranking for the second year. In a row was good. Combining that with also racing the test event, basically a day and a half before, was a pretty cool experience. I didn't get the result I wanted in the test event, but I guess I got the experience I wanted to, and that's what the test event is all about, like getting an understanding for what I need to do over the next eight and a half months in order to secure my second Olympic gold medal. A challenging year, as I guess most of you that follows me know. So uh, it actually started okay, but I had some sickness and I had some expectations for the first races of the year. But I basically finished last in the first races and I hoped for more, but more never really came. It kept on getting worse. My mother died of cancer and I never really got back into it again. So I decided to pull the plug when my Achilles also started acting up. I'm still not running 100%, that's why I do like these exercises and I do more stretching than normal and do all these kind of things. Yeah, I just want to get back into shape again. That's my number one priority. The perks of being in uh, high altitude training is that it's usually, it comes with a really, really epic view. This is, yeah, insane. Yeah, the Achilles is still an issue and it's been yeah, half a year and for a guy that's never been injured before it's uh, a long, long time. So I've done some uh, treatments now, uh, so that's why it's extra sore today. I did some treatments in Germany two days ago. The Achilles is a bit worrying uh, for the Olympics now. My own estimate is like 5% that they even make it to the team. Yeah, we we'll see how it goes. If I can start running again fairly soon, I'm happy. If not, I will just take my time. I'm in triathlon for the long run, and then I mean the long. So at least like 10 more years. Hopefully, I will get back healthy again. But for now, I will take my time. So we've been twice now in the lab uh, since I were home. First in December and then in January three weeks apart. The oxygen uptake is pretty good. Highest number ever measured, I guess. Not just on myself, not just in the lab in Bergen, but I guess in any labs, which is a good way to start off a season. The same with the swim and run, like the general fitness is pretty good and like the engine is very strong. So now it's more about being able to dial that in to race pace. At the moment, um, producing quite a lot of heat when I'm riding high intensity. So if we can change that as well, I will get even more power into the pedals and be more efficient with the pedal stroke. Unfortunately, we weren't able to measure peak peak oxygen uptake on the bike either in December or in Bergen simply because <laughs> the roller itself got <laughs> overheated both times in the last step. Uh, and I guess I would have maybe had a minute or so in May, but I guess we will have to wait until the new newer version of the turbo will be in Bergen. So next time they pro promise me that they will have the newest model and we will be able to do a proper test. I think we have a new roll on the lab now. I'm blowing it. It's 102 degrees, the trainer. Suddenly the last one become quite a bit easier when the treadmill just loosen up and that's where the power is dropping. Oh. oh yeah. So my bike test was fairly controlled. I only did up to LT2, so around threshold. Uh, I didn't do the VO2 max, so I don't have the, the bragging numbers that Christian can show. I only have like the numbers for my own personal use and not to post on uh, social media. But the bike test is, yeah, it shows clear signs of reduced training and some struggles because the numbers is 
It's low, the feeling is pretty okay. It's nothing good, but it's not bad either. But just that uh, the numbers are really low. Yeah, we use the lab testing to basically see where we are and adjust the training from there. So uh, even if I did get good numbers, it wouldn't be any difference in training. Everything would just be higher. Like the power would be higher, the hours would be longer. But since I am where I am now on the bike testing, it is, yeah, where I am now. Yeah, so finally, 2024 Olympic season is here. The last three, four months, I would say, has been pretty good. Three rounds of testing in the lab, good uh, responding on the first altitude camp, and actually did some of my best numbers ever in the lab. Pretty pleased with the last three months. So especially like the oxygen uptake has been increasing quite a lot over the winter. Now, as we're up here for a month, it's about going back again to work on threshold and efficiency. So, so I'm getting more out of each uh, oxygen that I'm breathing in, in terms of power that I'm putting out. The winter has been great and it's also special to be back in an Olympic season. Yeah, sort of the new Olympic year and I'm still walking. I feel like that's pretty, uh, descriptive of also how I'm feeling. I am very underprepared at the moment. It's no need to like sugarcoat it. Like I know sport is uh, challenging and everything. I'm very far off from uh, my top shape and also some decent shape. So uh, I am kind of like a talent, but my talent is that I'm able to train hard over a long time. So when I'm not training hard, my shape is pretty bad. So hopefully I will use this camp to get back into normal training and uh, fitness. So we're just coming out from a good winter of training. So now it's more about going back to a little bit of base threshold work for these two weeks and then some intensity second half of the camp. And a typical key session here in Sierra Nevada is very, very simple. It's riding down towards Granada and then we have like 60, 70, 80 minutes of climbing at high intensity on the way up. So it's uh, basically just a massive climb. And we have like three different ways of coming up here. So we can mix it up a little bit. So even though me and Christian are on the same camp, we don't have the same uh, ambition for this camp. My ambition is to get back to normalized training. For the bike, I will just try to maintain. I will keep the stress a bit down and have some more energy and hopefully that will fix my issues. Let's go! Let's go! Which was it? 1.5. 1.5. So you want to continue that uh, pace? Yeah, I'm going to do one more. But I'm not going really for lactate. I'm going for feeling. And I have some Norwegian rap here today. Some Lars Völa. Lars Völa. Shout out to Lars. Shout out to Lars. 50, 70, 50, 70, in! And I'm get get husa. very easy to enjoy cycling in this environment like breathtaking it's, it gives you energy and this is why we love it you know this is why we love the daily work the daily ground right ground we just have to get stronger ride faster <laughs> need more power okay i need uh, my west what do you say gustav wants he really wants to do like uh, an, a naked shoot but i'm not doing it today you're not Rush want Casino Rush. Facta. You want to do a nude shoot? No, no why? So that's our training day wrapped together here in Sierra Nevada. And as you can see, look at the beautiful sunset. Starting before the sun uh, rise and now been training 
not the whole day, but uh, yeah, good training. Anyway.